Augusto Correa, Brazil, June 2005. The bizarre beasts and beings get even more incredible and deadly. In the course of two months, 11 townspeople die suddenly and swiftly. Then, evidence shows the executioner is a fabled bloodsucker, a creature of the night. One local woman is hit the hardest by this tragedy when five of her children die from a sudden devastating illness. Closer examination reveals small bites on each child, pointing to a single suspect, the vampire bat. They drop in under cover of darkness and attack us at our most vulnerable. But are vampires real? The blood-sucking bat, Latin Desmodus rotundus, earns its nasty reputation with upper incisor teeth sharp as razors. These flying, blood-drinking mammals can pierce a sleeping victim's skin without waking them up. It's a kill fit for a horror movie. Once the wound is open, a powerful anticoagulant in the bat's saliva, aptly known as Dracula, is 20 times more powerful than any substance like it on Earth. With the wound flowing freely, the bat greedily laps its victim's blood. The length of time that Draculin um, actually will stop you from clotting is not really well known. You, you effectively have to flush it from the, the site where the bat makes the incision. But though gruesome, it doesn't explain the children's tragic deaths. In humans, vampire bites aren't lethal. The cause of death was something even more horrifying. Bat feeding makes them the perfect agents of a deadly disease called hydrophobia, rabies. Though rabies can be cured if caught early, with bats, victims often don't realize they've been bitten until it's too late. Today, the Brazilian government is mandating more rabies vaccinations. And ironically, the same powerful agent that allows bats to drain human blood may be the key to saving lives. Draculin may one day help heart attack and stroke victims, proving that vampire bats are a legendary creature to be feared and revered.